And ladies and gentlemen, we get ready for this match, which has stakes that could not possibly be any higher. CJ Scott versus Franz Roddy, one final time. And we say it's the final time because the loser of this match must retire. This match is a street fight. There are no rules. And these two have hated each other since practically the day they walked in the door when IYFW was first starting. Interesting statistic. There have been 53 in-your-face wrestling events. CJ Scott and Franz Roddy have fought on 15 of them. Wow. That is a statistic we got earlier on in the week. Franz Roddy throwing CJ Scott into the ropes, spinning back elbow by Franz Roddy. Franz Roddy, always the better technical wrestler of the two, but CJ Scott with that hard-nosed brawling style and his power game. These two are very evenly matched. And this is where it's going to start to get ugly, and it's going to happen right away. Well, it's a Scott, street fight. Yeah, CJ Scott and Franz Roddy brawling on the outside, and I think... Uh, we just saw the most technical moves that we're going to see this whole match. CJ Scott getting set hard into those steps, those solid wooden steps we have here in your face wrestling. CJ Scott tumbling over him. CJ Scott already limping. Trying to get away from Franz Roddy. And Franz Roddy, like a shark seeking blood, going right after that knee. Attacking CJ Scott, ramming that knee into the floor. CJ Scott already badly hobbled. Franz Roddy might get the advantage here. This might be it for CJ Scott. We, you we know, I love the idea of a referee in a street fight match, right? Because, like, what? The referee just might as well just Does like. Does he have stand a ring bell hammer? Okay. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. He just held CJ Scott against the ring bell and then rang the bell. Oh, okay. I, th I thought he was just going to try and kill him with the hammer, uh, which I wouldn't be really surprised to see from either of these men considering their reputation or their hatred for each other in the past. But Franz Roddy has always been the uh, more respectable of the two. Franz Roddy rolling CJ Scott in the ring, and it looks like he's got a chair. CJ Scott, though, throwing a punch to Franz Roddy. Getting him off of that chair as CJ Scott pushes Franz Roddy across that top rope. Raking at the eyes of Franz Roddy and CJ Scott. Irish grip by Scott. Big Lariat sending Franz Roddy to the canvas. CJ Scott has that chair now. He lifts it up high. Oh, brings it down hard across the back of Franz Roddy. I can feel that all the way back here. God, I felt that in my chest. That shock wave from that steel coming crashing across. This, These fans are brutal. They're calling for one more time. CJ Scott more than happy to oblige, though. Another vicious shot across the back. Ref going down, one, two. Franz Roddy kicking out. These fans just wanted to see violence. They don't care who's doing it to who. The well, normally, it's to Lance, and they're not exactly, uh, they're, not, they're not Albany, okay? <laughs> yeah, they're not the classy folks no. we see in Albany. This is the, this is the DeLance and Ref Raff. CJ Scott picking up Franz Roddy, fireman's carry. Franz Roddy getting out of the back, roll up, one, two! CJ Scott just barely kicking out. That was almost the end of CJ Scott's career. Uppercut, pit lifting him up, package, pile driver by CJ Scott. One, two! Franz Roddy barely kicking out of two, I thought that was it. These two just trading haymakers back and forth. You know, personally, I don't even want to see this match happen, only because... I really don't, I, neither do I. I don't want to see either of these men leave this company, but it's a fact of the matter that IYFW just isn't big enough for the two of them. They, they, they're, 
their feuding and their hatred just boils over into other parts of this of these cards that I don't blame IYFW offices for wanting to get oh, no. get this solved. Oh, CJ no. Scott picking up a section of the guardrail now and throwing it into the ring. Franz Roddy down and hurt already, and CJ Scott may be looking to put the final nail in the coffin of Franz Roddy's career. Franz Roddy dazed and stunned right now. What does oh. CJ Scott have planned? Franz Roddy coming to, lifting that up. They're trying to shove each other off. CJ Scott shoving oh. Franz Roddy into the corner with that hard metal guardrail. Looks like he might have a length of plastic chain here that he's going to use to choke Franz Roddy. CJ Scott showing no mercy here for his hated rival. Again, I love the, the idea of a referee in one of these matches because if I was a referee, I would just like stand in the middle of the ring or on top of the turnbuckle and just let these guys have at it. Yeah, the referee. What are you going to do? The there referee are no rules. counting CJ Scott on that choke, but he can't be disqualified here. He's, the ref is just there to count the three, if we see it at all, or count a ten for a knockout. Ref down one, two. Franz Roddy kicks out at two here. And CJ Scott has something planned for that guardrail that's now propped up in the corner. C.J. Scott grabbing Franz Roddy, lifting Franz Roddy up. Franz Roddy with some elbows to the side of C.J. Scott's head. Franz Roddy picking up C.J. Scott, has him draped across the shoulder for a power slam, runs him in! Hard power slam out of that guardrail into the corner by Franz Roddy on C.J. Scott. C.J. Scott going back first across that wow. solid wow. steal from the guardrail. And that could be it. If Franz Roddy can get up from the pin, one, two, CJ Scott barely kicks out at two. And the violence continues. I don't think CJ Scott has had that done to him in a long time, if any. I mean, Franz it's usually Roddy. him doling out the punishment. Yeah, Franz Roddy, though, continuing to dole out that punishment, whipping CJ Scott with that, that plastic chain. That stinging smack across the back of C.J. Scott. Runs Roddy now wrapping it around his wrist. Fist drop with that chain by Franz Roddy. Rough down one, two, C.J. Scott kicks out again. Franz Roddy looking frustrated, going to the outside. Looks like he might be looking under the ring for something. I saw both of these men earlier in the evening around that ring. Franz Roddy pulling out two chairs, two chairs. Hard shot across the back of CJ Scott by Franz Roddy. These two are just mauling each other. Franz Roddy lifts up C.J. Scott, holds him. C.J. Scott fights him off with punches in the top of his head. Picks him up in a fireman's carry. Franz Roddy out the back door, though. Lifts C.J. Scott up. Spine buster by Franz Roddy. Goes down one, two. C.J. Scott kicks out at two. Franz Roddy getting fired up here. C.J. Scott on one knee gets up. Fireman's carry by Franz Roddy. Spinning. Spin. Spinning CJ Scott around. Franz Roddy telling the crowd to get to the chopper. Double boot to the face of CJ Scott there by Franz Roddy. Referee going out for the pin. One, two. CJ Scott kicking out again at two, just barely. Trying to send CJ Scott to the corner. CJ Scott reversing it. And Franz Roddy eats that steel chair that was propped up in the corner by CJ Scott. CJ 
TJ Scott unable to capitalize though. Ron's Roddy down, TJ Scott not going for the cover yet. So just got grabbing the chair. Looks like he might be planning some more punishment for his rival. Ooh. Running elbow drop with that steel chair by CJ Scott. Ref down one, two. Ronsrati kicks out again. CJ Scott cannot believe it. Just cannot put his rival away. CJ Scott has thrown everything he can at Franz Roddy. Goes for the elbow drop again. Franz Roddy gets out of the way. And CJ Scott slams his arm into that steel. Franz Roddy has the chair now. CJ Scott turns around. Chair shot to the ribs by Franz Roddy. Franz Roddy hits the ropes. CJ Scott, kick almost went low there, catching the midsection. Franz Roddy recovers, hits the ropes. Spear by Franz Roddy. He's down ref one, two. CJ Scott barely kicks out. Kicking out at two at the very last possible second. Both of these men just crawling around on the canvas now. Franz Roddy grabbing that flexor that he uses to get himself pumped up before every match. CJ Scott has his club. Both of these men with their trademark weapons here. They fall oh. in, both hitting each other. Both having the same idea. Both men down now. The referee counting, but this this can't end on a double count out. This can't end on a double KO. There has to be a winner here. Sometimes I think the referees here just like the count. I don't know why we're counting. Both men getting up to their feet. Locking in a collar and elbow tie-up, just holding on to each other, just supporting each other. Headbutt by CJ Scott. Bronze Roddy counter to the Bronze Cutter. CJ Scott barely kicking out. Again. Time and time again, both of these men, their their careers literally a tenth of a second from being over. Time and time again. Absolutely. Time and time again. These men. Low blow by CJ Scott. The ref saw it, but it is perfectly legal in this match. And you would think uh, one would try to protect themselves from something like that in a match like this. Well, Franz Roddy and CJ Scott have both been worn to the bone. And there's only so much you can do to protect yourself, and you, you leave certain things open. And uh, CJ Scott taking advantage of that, like he knows how to do very well. CJ Scott has those chairs set up in a bridge. Looks like he has something planned here. He's getting ready to lift Franz Roddy up. Franz Roddy fighting out of it, though. Franz Roddy turns it around, knee to the stomach, and he's got CJ Scott pulled for a, a pile driver, a powerbomb position here. CJ Scott reversing it. CJ Scott trying for a cutter there. Franz goes for the cutter, gets shoved off. CJ Scott picks him up. Explode a suplex into the chair. The chair got it completely flattened by Franz Roddy's body weight as CJ Scott pulls him over with that exploder suplex. That could be it here if CJ Scott can get to, get to the cover. This could be it. No, CJ Scott not going for the cover. The rem flattened remains of that chair getting tossed aside. CJ Scott trying for a package pile driver here, trying for another one, drops him down. Second package pile driver by CJ Scott. Clearly that has to, no, CJ Scott still not going for the cover. What does he have planned here? Franz Roddy already taking a hellacious amount of punishment. Franz Roddy could be completely unconscious here. Is CJ Scott trying for another one? CJ Scott oh, no. trying to put the nails chair. in the coffin. Oh, CJ Scott package pile driver on that bowling chair. Wrapped down one, two. That's it. Wow. That's it. Wow. 
CJ Scott wins Monserati's career is over. You know, I cannot imagine in your face wrestling without a Franz Roddy. I just uh, can't. I, I, mean, I can't either, Sean, but that's what we're looking at. That's the reality. Franz Roddy lost CJ Scott in this epic story rivalry with an incredible conclusion. Beats. You know, this is unfair to me. I just got here. I love this guy and such a, 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 a ray of sunshine here in your face wrestling. I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now, Sean. I, uh, Franz Roddy. Things are going to change around here, and I don't think they're going to be for the better. IOFW, IOFW's only Triple Crown champion. One of the most decorated wrestlers here in your face wrestling, and his career is over, and the locker room now coming out to pay their respects to Franz. The crowd now paying their respects as well. The whole locker room, well, with some notable exceptions coming out. Gathering around Franz. Everybody showing their respect for the man who helped build in your face wrestling. 